In the last week, PopCap has released its first interview, explaining that Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare is going to come out on PlayStation 3 and 4 sometime in August. It's something that informs how we're tuning the game, it informs the, the type of content that we're actually deciding to build next, quickly into the PlayStation version. It's an optimized game, it's highly polished, including all of the DLC content to date. So they're going to have all the great content we made for Garden Variety as well as the Zomboss Down release. So they're jumping in with everything right away. It's going to be really cool. What we also know is that they're making a new Garden DLC Warfare map, is which is probably going to be released with the release of the PlayStation game. All we know so far is that it might have the Yeti in it, which means it could be a snow-based map, kind of like how the last one was more desert-oriented. But they also hinted at the Disco Zombie, mainly to show off their new merchandise but this could mean that there is something more in store for Garden Ops, since they haven't changed really anything in the last two updates, except for a new map. To continue, after watching the video, you can tell that the PS4 game will be in 1080p 60 frames per second, and there will be Zomboss mode through the PlayStation app, which allows you to, to connect to your games, on PlayStation through a mobile device like a tablet or smartphone. This actually is better in a way than just having to use smart class devices for a single console. This may only be for the PS4, but who knows. We will however know more about it at E3 this Monday. Leading up to E3, we're going to be announcing the Sony platforms for Garden Warfare and be coming out in August, which is really exciting. The last pressing matter is the fact that by the end of the month, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare will be out on PC. We haven't seen any interviews about that yet, but it will probably be no different than what it already is now. Besides the fact that players will probably use different controls, and the difficulty might be taken down a notch. Mostly because a lot of people that play these games are 11 years old. 11 year olds that play Minecraft on the Xbox because they're too stupid to realize that they can't beat it on the PC. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Want to see more like this? Leave your thoughts and concerns in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm NMAC4 and I'll see you later. Hey guys, I'm NMAC4 from Gaming Sans Frontier and most of you have probably seen the glitch videos this video that I'm about to show is a tutorial on how to do the team switching glitch. This, I'm pretty sure you're wondering how to do this. And many of you have told me in, this, in the comments of my videos.